Or what you think? I'm gonna go see my boy. He must be scared Look, out of his wits by Ma, now. Ma, listen to me. The police are not gonna let you see Decker now anyway. That's true, Charlene. If you want to be help, uh, just sit here and wait for the lawyer to call back, okay? I'll wait with you. Oh. Oh. I think of my boy down there, my baby boy in that jail with all those hoodlums. Oh, all right, if you think it'll help, I'll stay here. It will help more than you know. Well, what am I supposed to say to her? Well, just tell her to meet me down at police headquarters, all right? I'm gonna go upstairs and get changed right now, and then I'll check back with you later, all right? Keep an eye on her, will you? It's okay. I'll try. I don't even know if that's his real name, P.K. Sinclair, but I do... This guy's behind everything, Anna. Please, Frisco, come on here. And why are you being so weird? Why the hell would you defend this guy? He... He's responsible for Felicia's kidnapping you in Paris. No proof of that. Let's just say that I feel it. That isn't good enough, Frisco. Well, it's good enough for me. You know, for all I know, this guy could be responsible for Felicia running away again. It has nothing to do with me and the WSV. It has nothing to do with Felicia going anywhere. Well, I can find out, you know. I'll just work my way out to Spoon Island. I'll throw this guy against the wall, and I'll have him spill his guts. That's you what I'll do. You leave him alone. Don't you go near him. You give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Huh? Give me a reason. I'd like to hear that too, Mrs. Lavery. What do you think you're doing walking into somebody's house without any warning? Who, who the hell are you? I, I know who he is. I can handle this. Well, well, it doesn't take that. It's a matter of ringing a doorbell, and it's a matter of knocking on the door. Where were you raised? I rang the doorbell. You didn't hear me, but I heard you two. Well, your voice is carry. I heard you halfway down the block. We were having a private conversation. Not if the whole town can hear you. Well, that's a little exaggerated. You want me to reconstruct it for you? What do you want, Mr. Casey? Well... Certainly not to shake you up like this. Uh, you haven't shaken anyone up. My mistake. Your second one, actually. You haven't answered the lady's question. What do you want? Shall I put it in more simple terms? Uh, can I help you? I was in the neighborhood. I thought maybe I'd drop by. Well, you just don't happen to be in neighborhoods. You have to have a reason. How did you know it was our neighborhood anyway? Well, good cop like a good reporter. Makes it his business to know certain things. So now you know. Now I know. Does that mean I can't come in? I don't know. You're here now. Well, thanks. Thank you. You know, I heard about Port Charles hospitality. Heard it was real nice. Like this place. Real nice. I like it. Thank you. You uh, must have missed it when you and your daughter were away. Oh, yeah. How did you know they were away? Commissioner Scorpio's press conference. I don't remember uh, where he said he sent you. He didn't say. No, that's right. He didn't. He didn't say much of anything, did he? What's to say? Just the facts, right? Yeah, the facts. Something else a good reporter should know. Well, good reporters also understand when someone says there was a John Doe found. Miss Lavery and her daughter went on a vacation, and that's all there is to know. So what of it? I don't think you're going to win the Pulitzer Prize for that one. No, oh, come on. Now, what if there was an alien? What if there was an alien? I mean, it'd be the biggest story of the century. Well, maybe another century. Yeah, well, I hope I'm around. I would kick myself from here to Punxsutawney if I was alive and missed it. You look surprised. Why should I be? I don't know. I'd... The way you're looking at me, what? Have we met? What, you mean in a past life, something like that? Hey, hey, she's not into that kind of stuff, are you? No. Hmm. 
You just look awfully familiar to me. No, I'm sorry. We haven't met. Well, I, I, uh, I would have remembered that. But I know you, Mr. Jones. I don't think so. I would have remembered. No. You're opening at uh, Delafield's tonight. Well, where'd you hear that? Or is that something a good reporter just knows? No, I read that in a newspaper. Mm -hmm. It's a great big ad with you, morning edition. It's a good picture. Check it out. Some tea for you. How about some soda or some coffee? I don't want any soda or coffee or tea and sympathy, and you don't have to stick around here just to keep an eye on me, either. Colton didn't mean to insult you. You don't have to interpret what Colton meant, either. You might have been married to him for about 20 minutes, but I'm his mother. Well, he's just worried about you. I know he's worried about me. He worries about the people he loves, unlike some people I could mention. You can't forgive me, can you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's not that you can't, you won't. Forgive or forget. I forgot about you the minute you broke my boy's heart and walked out of his life. I haven't forgotten about Colton. Oh, well, that's obvious. Why else would you come running over here? I haven't forgotten how good he was to me, either. That's all, it's all water under the bridge now. You won't catch me crying about it. Charlene, I bet I did more crying than anybody. I don't think that I'll ever be able to forgive myself for hurting Colton the way I did. But Colton and I both know now that I didn't mean to do it. I care about Colton, and I care about Decker, too. Oh. I got to know Decker very well when I was on the road, and you know what? I think I probably know him better than you do. Well, oh, that'll be the day. He took care of me. He helped me when I didn't know who I was or what I was doing. Yeah, and you took advantage of him, too. Calling yourself Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe! Well, whatever it was, he trusted me, and I trusted him, and I still do. I trust him with my life. Milk and sugar. Two spoons. Casey. Chef Casey is... What he said his name was, right? Yeah, yeah. You know where he's from? No. I don't know. Anyway, um, so, what were we talking about? When? Before Walter Cronkite came in. Oh, I don't know. Um. You know, hmm? I lied a little bit ago. Oh, yeah? About what? Well... He looks a little familiar. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Well, I just... Huh? There seems to be a... a similarity between... you know... him and Spa. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, thank goodness you said that. Well, I'm I mean, it's just mind. maybe a light I... resemblance yeah, or something. No, this is I not know. a nice man. No, here. You he, understand he that? He's very dangerous. Yeah. And if he gets his hands on any information, we are stuck. Which is a good. He'll probably be back here too. You ought to just check around and make sure <laughs> that nothing is left here. Why do we? You ought to check like all the rooms that Casey was in. You understand? We don't want anything is. left behind. Like what? Well, just something that might remind somebody of Casey. You miss him? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. You miss him? Yeah. Well, no, no, not really. I just, not really, no. Okay. Well, I'm glad he's uh, gone home anyway. <laughs> yeah. Which is all the more reason that you should check the garage any place this guy stayed. We don't want anybody following him back to Lumina. Oh. Are you whistled? Yeah, um, listen, um, I want you to go into the garage and I want you to check around and make sure Casey didn't leave anything. Okay. Oh, man, I sure wish I could bring him back, yeah. this Casey. 
For a guy from another world, he was one cool dude. <laughs> no problem. I'm gonna go. Oh, wait. We didn't finish our conversation. We finished our conversation. No, I don't Spoon want you to Island go over to Spoon Island. Island. No, you're not. If he's back, I'm... I'll gonna... get the door. No, it's my house. It's my door. Come in, you're gonna... Anyway. Hi. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm I, I, sorry. I should have called. No, but it's I, 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 I thought... Uh, you, I, I... What is it? What, what is it? You looking for somebody? What do you want? I need help. Uh, it's my brother, Decker. Well, maybe you want to tell her, huh? Tell her what? I thought you'd know. He was brought down to police headquarters for questioning. Really? In that Ned Ashton thing, huh? That thing is assault with a deadly weapon and robbery. They're holding Decker? Yeah, amongst other people. I mean, they have other suspects, and they're having a the lineup uh, shortly, as a matter of fact. And I was hoping, I don't know if there's anything you can do, but if, if there's yeah, anything... I, mean, I, I don't know what I can do, but I'll, I'll come down with you and see what evidence they've got against him. Thank you. Yeah, you so you're not going to need, need me, then, huh? No, no, thanks. Um, yes? We'll talk later. Don't go anywhere. Well, I have to go to the club. I'm sure Katie's losing her mind right now, and I have to finish this new song I'm working on. Well, great. A nice new song. You have a nice evening. Don't go anywhere. Well, let's hope so for Katie, but it's a nice evening. I'll be going through the motions. Let's move. If you're worried about your uh, wife, don't. Felicia's fine. Oh. What did you say? I just, I thought it would help. Felicia's okay. How would you know? It doesn't matter. Did you talk to her? Sure, Look, tell me. I, did you talk I, to I my wife? I said all that I'm going to say. Sure, tell me. Hey, hey, did you see my wife? Look, did, you, did you know where she is? I thought it might ease your mind. That's all, okay? Don't push it. And don't push me. I'll look for you in the car. Why the hell would she go to him and not come to me? You have to get well, because I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to you. I guess a part of me is kind of angry at you for doing this and getting yourself into this kind of mess. And Frisco, too. But it's only because I love you so much. I love both of you. And I've been so worried about you. Sean. I've been so confused ever since Frisco joined the WSB again. He lied to me. But I love him, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, he joined the WSB. But I'm going to have a baby now, and I... Oh, I guess I'm just sort of rattling on. You can't even hear what I'm saying anyway. It doesn't really make... You squeeze my hand. You can hear me? Well, if you can hear me, you listen to me. You have to get well because... Because I need you. And I love you. And everybody else needs you. 